y'all doing? I'm Sparky Pow, and welcome back to some more It Moves. So, I think this this could be the last episode of the game. I'm not sure, but you never know. Um. Oh, hi there. You're pretty. Really beautiful. Please, don't like, let your low self-esteem kill me or something. Also, I'm so tiny. Okay, ew. This is weird. I don't know why, but it reminds me of that game. I think it was Binding of Isaac? I think it was that game. Oh. Nice. Flying little whatever you are. And you? Who are you? How come no no nobody's trying to kill me yet? You. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. That's nice to know. You? Are you friendly? I doubt that anyone's friendly here. I'm still amazed that nobody's trying to kill me yet. But hey, it's all a matter of time. Also, what are these things? Oh, who are you? Can I talk to you? No? Okay, you're rude. Here. Hi, can I talk to you? Is that the same face that was in the pool? Weird. Really, really weird. Okay. Is anything new going to happen? Oh, hi. I see you're having fun. At the crossroads in life. What does one do? Stand at the crossroads if you will, but if you'll not choose, I'll move on without you. Okay. And having once chosen, never to seek to return to the crossroads of that decision. For even if one chooses wrongly, the choice cannot be unmade. That's deep. Um, oh, that's what you were talking about. So, there? No? Okay, you're rude. Okay, I'll go that way. Okay, this is really getting out of hand. Did your mom not taught you that you can't stand in people's way? Guys, can you help me? No? Oh well. Uh... This was not here. Hey dude, wanna talk to me? No? Beautiful music, uh, but I want to go home. Please. Um, oh, hi. Wanna play a game? Uh, no? Oh, uh, the background is lighting up a bit. Um, am I going to wake up now? No? Dude, this is taking... There you are. Come back, come back, come back. Do I need to do something? Oh. Uh... I'm awake. It moved. It was subtle, but its grip on my shoulder and across my body strengthened. No tears came. But God, how I wanted to cry. As its hand and arm slowly coiled around me, my left leg brushed along the cool wall which the bed lay against. Of all that happened to me in that room, this was the strangest. Oh, hi. Oh, oh no. That face. I realized that this clutching, rancid thing, which drew great delight from violating a young boy's bed, was not entirely on top of me. It was sticking out from the wall, like a spider striking from its lair. Suddenly, its grip moved from a slow tightening to a sudden squeeze. It pulled and clawed at my clothes, as if frightened that the opportunity would soon pass. 
I fought against it, but its, but its emaciated arm was too strong for me. Its head rose up writhing and contorting under the blanket. I now realized where it was taking me, into the wall. I fought for my dear life. I fought for my dear life. I cried and suddenly my voice returned to me, yelling, screaming, but no one came. Then I realized why it was so eager to suddenly strike, why this thing had to have me now. Through my window, that window, which seemed to represent so much malice from outside, streaked hope, the first rays of sunshine. I struggled further, knowing that if I could just hold on, it would soon be gone. As I fought for my life, the unearthly parasite shifted, slowly pulling itself off my chest. Its head now poking from under the blanket, wheezing, coughing, rasping. I do not remember its features. I simply remember its breath against my face, foul and as cold as ice. As the sun broke over the horizon, that dark place that suffocating room of contempt was washed, bathed in sunlight. I passed out as its scrawny fingers encircled my neck, squeezing the very life from me. I awoke to my father offering to make me some breakfast. A wonderful sight indeed. I had survived the most horrible experience of my life until then, and now. I moved to bed away from the wall, leaving behind the furniture I had believed would stop that thing from t taking a bed. Little did I think that it would try to take mine, and me. Weeks passed without incident, yet on one cold, frost-bitten night, I awoke to the sound of the furniture where the bunk beds used to be, vibrating violently. I lay there, sure I could hear a distant wheezing coming from deep within the wall, finally fading into the distance. The following year I was given a larger room on the other side of the house, and my parents took that room as their bedroom. They said they didn't need a large room just one big enough for a bed and a few things. They lasted 10 days. We moved on the 11th. So the room was haunted, apparently, and the kid lasted a year in horror. It, a game by Snow Owl. <laughs> Snow Owl. Wait, it's over? It can't be. You can't tell me it's over. Come on. That was short. Eight millions way to die. Nice. <laughs> Based on the story bedtime. I have to read that story one day. Wait, is this going to keep on going forever, or...? Yes? Please, I want a secret! No, don't fade away, I want a secret! The end. So there's no secret? That's sad. So... That was it! Wow, <laughs> this was quite a ride. I love this game. So yeah, the art style, the music, the storyline, it's brilliant. So yeah, I think you should try it too. I mean, you will have a, a link in the description, so believe me, try it out. This thing is awesome. So anyway, if you like this video, leave a like. And if you want to, you can subscribe because it keeps me going and encourages me to, you know, make videos. So anyway, thank you again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! And the beat goes on.